Stan Jabalisco here. The date, 4 November 2018. It's a Sunday. Last night at 2 o'clock a.m., we switched to standard time from daylight time. In case you've forgotten, now I'm reminding you. I set my clocks yesterday evening so that I would get used to the time change. Uh, you know, when you get older, your biorhythms get more sensitive to those sorts of things in certain ways. But in any case, I remembered to set all of the clocks and I set them by my iPad. The iPad is always connected to the internet and always synchronizes precisely with standard time uh, stations or signals from the National Bureau of Standards, I suppose. But in any case, it's accurate to the second all the time and it resets itself. So I simply set all of my clocks to the nearest minute according to that iPad um, my clocks, of course, are battery-powered quartz crystal-controlled clocks, and they are not uh, synchronized over the airwaves with any sort of time standard. So as time goes by, they, uh, as the weeks and months go by, some of them tend to run a little fast, some of them a little slow, but they're right on time as of now. We're on Mountain Standard Time here now, and uh, it'll take a little bit of getting used to, uh, getting dark so early. But what's harder to get used to is that the time seems to, it seems to be so much later in the afternoon all the time. <laughs> That's it. Time seems to race ahead of me so much quicker. But in any case, uh, I remembered to set all of those clocks, except the one in the car, which uh, I keep forgetting how to reset, so I just ignore it for now. I went to the Lodge in Deadwood, uh, a hotel, a very nice hotel, with a swimming pool and swam this morning at 8 o'clock a.m. Mountain Standard Time. For about 15 minutes. And then this uh, afternoon at 1 o'clock p.m., uh, of course it wasn't 1 o'clock a.m. in the afternoon, it was 1 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon, I went to the Deadwood Recreation Center and swam for another 15 minutes. I'm uh, splitting my workouts, if I can, into two a days these days just to keep my blood flowing and my brain from going completely stagnant. It doesn't seem to help my brain much, but it, it does keep my body from becoming completely stagnant. But I remembered to set my clocks, and they remembered to set them at the lodge in Deadwood, a very meticulous and very thorough and clean place a beautiful hotel in Deadwood. I recommend it highly should you decide to stay in a hotel in Deadwood. The Lodge, it's called. It's on the outskirts of Deadwood as you head towards Spearfish. Uh, just before you get to Deadwood, you'll see the Lodge. Beautiful rooms, nice little swimming pool, loaded with kids all having fun with playing basketball in the water and things like that, even at eight o'clock in the morning. But I swam sort of laps as that pool will allow just to get my blood circulating and this afternoon just to get it circulating a little more at the Deadwood Recreation Center. At the Deadwood Recreation Center, they hadn't remembered to set any of their clocks. They all were still on daylight time. So that indicates a, a sort of a difference in 
attitude, doesn't it? The question is, what the bloody difference does it make? Are we the masters of our chronometers, or are they our masters? Who rules this show? Who's in charge here? Do we serve clocks, or do clocks serve us? That's the question. Apparently, we're closer to the clock being the master scenario at the lodge in Deadwood and in the brain of Stan Jivalisco. Apparently, they're closer to the human being being the master of the chronometer at the uh, Deadwood Recreation Center. One might say that the Deadwood Recreation Center tends to let things slide, whereas I do not, and the Lodge in Deadwood do not. But I don't think that makes a bloody bit of difference either. What matters is who is master and who is slave. Are the clocks our master and we the slave to the clock? Or are we the master and the clocks serve us, our chronometers, as I like to call them? That is an important distinction because it indicates a fundamental attitude difference. I think, really, the people at the Deadwood Recreation Center are probably a little happier and more relaxed than the people at the Deadwood, at the Lodge in Deadwood, or Stan Jibalisco, because they do not allow the chronometers to play a primary role and govern the lives uh, of the people. Um, they do allow it, I should say, whereas the Deadwood Recreation Center does not. It doesn't make any difference, does it? Not in practice, I suppose. The time is the time is the time. Our chronometers tell us the time and thereby serve us. We do not serve our chronometers. Do we or do we? Clocks are us, yes or no? You answer that for yourself. Comments are closed because basically I'm too lazy and lax to let comments on a video like this rule my life. I need a nap this afternoon and by Jove, I'm gonna get it. Clocks and videos, well, be doggone dead, burn it. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, whenever that is, so long.